Hello, thanks for downloading Uptime. Today I'll be walking you through installing the Uptime monitoring station on a Windows server. You will be up and running with Uptime in less than 15 minutes. So let's get started. I have already downloaded Uptime and copied the monitoring station file onto a VM for my evaluation. Double clicking on the installer executable will start a standard Windows application installation process. Unlike many monitoring tools you may encounter today, the installer includes everything you'll need. There is no need to install additional modules, complicated prerequisites, or asking your database team for assistance. The Uptime Monitoring Station is your single access point for uptime, configuration, and usage. And it includes all product features and functions with no fuss, giving you immediate access to Uptime's powerful server, network, and application performance monitoring, as well as capacity planning and IT SLA reporting capabilities. Depending on your needs, you may also want to install the Uptime Agent on servers you'd like to monitor, or simply use agentless monitoring via WMI, SNMP, or vSphere APIs. Once the guided installation gets started, you will want to review and accept the end user license agreement. Next, you can define where you would like the monitoring station files to be installed. You'll need about 700 megabytes of free space for a default installation. Now, we choose where to house the Uptime data store. The data store is the backbone of Uptime. It stores all of your historical performance and availability data for as long as you need it. By default, Uptime will install a MySQL database, but it's really easy to configure Uptime to use a Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle Database Engine post-installation. We recommend at least 10 gigabytes for a minimal data store with more being required as the number of monitored elements and data tension over time increases. On the next page, we will configure which ports Uptime will listen on. You can safely leave these as defaults unless a port is already in use on your server. Next, we will need to provide encryption information for the Uptime Controller API. Enter an SSL passphrase and confirmation passphrase of your liking then click Next. Click Next once more to start the installation. This process will take about two minutes to complete. The first time you open Uptime, it will prompt you to enter a password and confirmation password for the admin user, as well as set an administrator email address and email server settings. The email server settings are populated automatically, but you may need to adjust these to match your corporate email server settings. When you are ready, click Login. You are now prompted to enter your Uptime license key. You will find your license key on the Uptime website where you downloaded the monitoring station, and it was also emailed to the address you provided during registration. Today, I'll simply copy the license key from my download page and then paste it back into the Uptime Monitoring Station prompt, then click Update License. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Uptime. And now you can begin monitoring your servers, network devices, and applications. Wasn't that easy? In our next series of videos, you will learn more about configuring Uptime and accessing the most commonly used tools to help you improve your IT service delivery and become more proactive about managing your data center. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy using Uptime.